hey, how y'all doing? It's your girl, Shona. Welcome, welcome, and thank you for stopping by. First, I'm going to vent. Girls and guys, whoever is watching, all my little love bugs, all my friends, all my family, all my supporters, all my new YouTube subscribers, thank you so much for coming. You know what, before I got into this video, I was having problems. Um, you guys couldn't actually see my color. All you could see is this faded, kind of washed out color, and I could not figure it out. This is a Samsung Note 10 Plus. I have a bomb diggity phone, so somehow I inadvertently touched a button, which made the camera not show the color as vibrant as it's supposed to. So now it's well. Ciao. Check out them eyes. Did it myself. I am proud to say. Okay. So the reason I have on this get up is because today at where I work, I dressed up for the children. I was Wonder Woman. I know Wonder Woman don't have yellow hair, but this Wonder Woman does. And I had on a whole um, costume and everything, but just to come and share a video with you guys, I just wanted you to see why my eyes were the color they were. It's because my outfit was... Um, yellow, blue, and red. So anyway, thank you for stopping by. Let's get right into it. So today's video, let's get a sip. I needed that. So now that we've had our sip, and I'm sorry that my hair is shining. It does not look like that. It's the light right on it. Okay, but in actuality, it doesn't look like it's shining, but I'm so you know what? I'm rambling. So, I found this gorgeous wig in... So, let's get... Sorry, guys. Calm down. Breathe. Okay. I was looking for a wig, and I could not... I wasn't even looking for a wig. I was looking for a braiding style. I was looking for a bum diggity braiding style. And I found a few... But as I was looking for the braiding style, I saw a braided wig. It didn't look like the YouTube influencers wigs. It looked more realistic. So that intrigued me to click on a video by a young lady named Ebony Eyes. Isn't that beautiful? E-B-O-N-I-E-Y-E-Z as in zebra. So I looked on her video at her video and she was... Um, talking about this particular wig from this company called The Braid Store. Long story short, I was intrigued because it looked so realistic. Plus, though I was looking for a braiding style, I hate getting my edges pulled. I hate sitting for long hours. And I've seen so many braiding wigs that it, you know, but none of the braiding wigs look like this particular wig. So anyway, I reached out to, um, I went on Instagram, which is, she was sharing Instagram, you know, that she found this lady on Instagram, uh, or this company on Instagram. Um, so I searched Instagram, spoke with the lady, her name is Amina. Let me just share with you, she is African. She's in America. So she's African American. And she, um, is in Texas. So I want to say she's local, local in the United States. Why? Because most of our wigs are made out of the country and brought in. Here's someone that actually hand do these braids uh, individually. So um, I was intrigued. I saw all of her um, different styles of wigs. I'm talking about guys, they look so good that you just want to try one on. So I reached out to her and I ordered a wig called Julie uh, Micro Braids. I got extra small, 20 inch. I got, it's full lace. I got a 1B27 and burgundy. That's what I got. Guys, I have not tried the wig on. I was excited to wait to share with you. I ordered the wig on September 21st. It takes 21 days, and I'm going to show you a little clip of her actually braiding the wig and doing her little hum while she's doing it, praising God. Um, what else? 
So she's, um, what else? Well, what was, sorry, I want to get lost. Um, it's 1B27 Burgundy. That's, she customized them. The wig itself was $207. And guys, I have paid three up to $350 to get micro braids. Not just extra small, but just small braids. And so I got the, I, wanted, I always wanted to try extra small. Um, the shipping was $12.75. So my total was uh, $219. The, um, so, and the other thing I want to say about it is she knows what she's doing. A very, very reasonable price, I believe. Good customer service. And if y'all know, if you've been in an African shop where you're getting your hair done, they're talking on the phone, they don't really have customer service etiquette. See, they are pretty, you know, they don't really even talk to us. So, sorry if I'm being blunt, but that's the truth. But she has customer service. She's um, just a very special lady. And so I ordered the wig on September 21st. Told her what colors I wanted. Um, she sent it on October 27th. Well, she mailed it on October 27th. She did it priority. I got it on the 24th of October. Did I say some other date? September, September 21st. Got it on. She mailed it on October 22nd. I received it on the 24th. So as soon as she sent it, I got it in two days. Her name is Amina. The Instagram account is the Braid Store. And she emailed you everything. So let's open up the braid. Let's open up the wig. As you can see, I haven't even opened it up. And it came in this little bag with all the hearts on me. I love you. Thank you, Amina. You guys, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. Look, see, I have to open it. I haven't. I just wanted to. Um, what else you got? Wait a minute. See. Sent a couple of wig caps, two pieces brown. So, oh guys, look at that. This is this um, wig, guys. Now, again, I have not opened this. I'm only opening up with you. So, um, everything that is, is new to me, just like it is new to you, and my friends and sisters, sister friends, want. Couldn't wait till I did this. So it comes with a, uh, what do you call that? Band? You know what I mean. Look at that. Let's see. Okay. All right. That's already looking good right there. So it has a little bit of a smell to it, but not a stinky smell, just like a house smell. Um, let's open it up. Let's look inside here. Let's look at the netting on it. She does each one of these guys individually. Does that not look like scalp? It does. It does. You can put this wig up in a ponytail. Wait, I must have put it up too high. Sorry, guys. Let's hold it right. Look. That's the back, okay? That's the lace at the bottom that I'm going to cut off. Look at that. And I think her price was definitely reasonable. Let's look on the inside. It comes with um, definitely two combs on the side, each side. A comb in the back, which I probably won't be using. This is 20 inches, guys. It is, it feels like a head full of hair. That's what it feels like. Um, and I didn't want it like all of, I just wanted some highlights. And she didn't even charge me extra for the highlights. She just put a few in there. So that's the color. Now I'm gonna try the wig on. I'm gonna cut the lace off and I will be right back. Let's take a drink. Let's give cheers to Amina in Texas and pray that this look like I hope it does. Real quick, I just wanted to show you guys my hair was braided all the way flat as I can have it done. I want to give a shout out to 
um, Deja who braided my hair. She did an excellent job. It's only 13 braids across and of course, you know, it's down here. So I'm just going to fold it up like this. Let me just show you guys the back. Don't be laughing at the back of my hair because it's all jacked up as far as the edges at the bottom because I don't like it to be too tight. Oh, can you see that? And um, so now I'm going to put the wig on and I'm going to take the shirt off, blouse off so that you can see everything in a better, you know, way. Okay, guys, this is a beautiful wig. Everything about it, the color, the, 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 what do you call it? The thickness of it. It's not too thick. It's not heavy. Um, look, look, at, look, look at that. Now, oh yeah, I forgot to say, it comes with baby hairs if you want the baby hairs or you don't. But when I've gotten my baby, my braids done, I didn't have, sorry, I'm not, I didn't have baby hairs because as my hair grows, then my baby hairs, you know, decide to come out and play. But when it's just freshly done, the baby hairs don't come out and play. So I like that fresh look. I like that look at that guys i didn't lay it i didn't put the combs in it or anything because i don't need to because of that her band the only thing is is this wig is just a tad i mean that much too small for me and i didn't see large head or medium head it comes in a 22 and a half circumference which is what most heads are and all my wigs that i get are like that so i won't be wearing it up um but let me turn around so you can see the back of it. I mean, this is really a nice wig and my husband likes it too. And so I pulled it back. Can you guys, did you guys see that? Sorry about the movement. My chair make a little noise, but this is a gorgeous wig. I ain't gonna even lie. It fits perfectly around my head. Like it ain't gonna come off the wing and blow. I can be on a, um, one of those, you know, at a Ferris wheels and this wig ain't gonna come off. This wig is not going to blow in the wind except like this, okay? And as you can see, I don't have it um, glued down or anything. It's like it's a little bit too long around the edges, but I guess I'll cut that. I don't even know if I'm gonna cut that because um, it's too small in the back. Like when I say that, I mean, let me just see, I can show you guys. I wish I hadn't cut it, but even if I did not cut it, I don't know what she could do about that. But you see right there, I just need to pull it down. But if I pull it down, which I'm going to do for you guys. So if you do decide to get this wig, you're going to have to get a, a larger size because it's not big hair friendly. If you have a large hair, forget it. It may look good in the front, but the back going to be jacked up. My elbow is kind of ashy. Um, yeah, I'm trying to fix it right. So if I pull it, see what it does? And even then, I'm still, wait a minute. Let's, wait, wait, wait. So I'm going to pull up the, I'm this. all this is new to me, just like it is to you guys. So now I'm going to, I pull the lace up around the, what do you call that thing? But guys, even when I pull it back, now I like it back. <laughs> I like it back there because as it grow, as your hair grow, you your braids come out anyway, and I have like 13 braids, so it kind of looked like it's down for the count with the wig. But so I would have to pull it back like that and wear something on it. Shoot, and then even then, but it's still to me, it's still a good except that line right there. And guys, the color of the the cap. Everything on this wig looks great, except it's just too small. Let's see. I'm going to pull it all the way back. Let me show you, because I cut it, and I guess I can't send it back. You know, she's going to see this video. I don't know what she's going to do, but I spent all that money. I know that the wig was right on point. I knew that. But I can't do anything but wear it back like that. And I'm going to show you guys up close see you can hardly see the line and let me just say this about the braiding it's as though you sit you sat down in a chair you could see i don't know any i haven't got a, a another braided wig but the way 
when you pull your hair, that's how it's braided. It's braided just like that. It doesn't look like it was stitched in. It looked like it was literally braided in. Each braid is individually braided all the way down to the bottom, just like if you went to the store. If you don't see that that's, I mean, and it feels good too, guys. And I'm not trying to sell, I'm not getting paid to tell you this. I bought it because I was inspired by Ebony Eyes. I liked all her wigs that I saw on Instagram and I tried it. And I like it. I'm just sorry I can't, um, I won't be able to wear it like I want to wear it because I'm supposed to be able to pull this wig up. And if you guys have any suggestions, please feel free to leave it in the description box. I'm talking about everywhere, anywhere you want to part this wig, you can part this wig. This would stop this, this whole, look, does that not look like my scalp? So, now I'm going to pull it back forward as though I just got it done. Um, I'm so sad I cut the, the, the um, what do you call it, the lace because I figured that I automatically, I haven't had a wig that was too small for my head, not one time. So I didn't assume that this one was too small. I assumed this one was perfect. I figured it was going to be tight like right. But guys... Anywhere you want to part this wig, anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. Look at that close up. Can you see? Look, look at my scalp and look at that. That looks really good. I'm sorry you guys, you know, that it's too small for my head, but I'm just keeping it real with you guys. She knows what she's doing. She did that. She did the thing. I ain't getting no more braids in my hair save my edges that looks so beautiful but one thing i ain't gonna do is lie to you guys about it being too small for my head and this is a 22 and a half um circumference i think that's the right way to say it but um i ain't gonna hold you too long i hope i didn't ramble too long i just want to share this wig with you i love 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 the colors and how she did this wig i just hate that it's too small back here if i could add it <laughs> If I knew what I was doing, I would add a little bit and make it work for myself. But I'm not a, I don't know how to do that. But, um, that's, oh, I stand up so you can see. I am 5'11", and this is where it comes down to. Hope y'all didn't see nothing y'all shouldn't see because I ain't trying to show you nothing. But anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you to Amina at the Braid Store. We're going to talk about this. And thank you, Deja, for braiding my hair, laying it flat as you can because this looks really good. Thank you so much. So Guys, one more minute. What happened was I ordered the wrong size cap. My head is a 22.13. And this is a 20, where it says, just for your reference, when you go on there, it's going to say cap size. I don't know why I missed it. Maybe because I didn't have my glasses on. So I ordered it extra small. Anyway, I reached out to her after the video and I showed her a clip. And she immediately responded. I saw what I'd done wrong. And um, so I just ordered another wig. And um, hopefully... I get, I did wash it. I hope that, oh yeah, I want to show you this here. There's two combs on the side, one in the middle and a, um, the adjustable straps and the band. This wig is made perfect. I love how you can, the, um, the braids, they sit there and plait these braids each individually. So this is just great work quality. Um, the other thing I want to tell you guys is if it was a large cap and it was too big, then it would be easier to fix. But since it's too small, it can't be fixed. But I do have a friend. I hope she ordered, you know, go ahead and get this from me because she was going to, she was waiting till I got my wig before she got hers. But maybe she can get this because her head is very small. So make sure when you look on there that you order, don't make the mistake I did because now I have to wait 21 days for the other one. 
but I just wanted to express again, great customer service. I'm glad I did this, got this video out the way, showed you guys, opened it up and look, you get to see what I did wrong and fix it. So God bless and keep you and you'll see me in my next video.